Well, Muhammad was a prophet, all right? Yes. And so is Muhammad the same guy that used to marry or date or have sex with young girls? Yeah, great question. So there's a, there's, that's one of the myths that's out there, right? So the prophet uh, Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessing be, be upon him. Um, you have to say that every time? Um, I don't have to say it every time. Why do you say it every time? Then? There's two blessings to it. Um, one, because God says that he loves, he loves all of the prophets. And so if I say Jesus, I say, you know, peace and blessings be upon him. Oh, I see. Or if I say, ah, ah, eh, you know, Ibrahim, eh, Abraham, uh, peace and blessings be upon him. Because God loves him, and so it's out of respect for that. And so did, did uh, Muhammad mm -hmm. have sex with young girls? So um, it was revealed to him, and he took a wife who was of, of not of age. Was she like 12 or something, right? Yeah, I don't know the exact yeah. age, but she wasn't of age. And he was like 90. Um, he wasn't 90, I, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> but in her perspective, he probably was 90, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, no. And however, the time of the consummation of that marriage was, was delayed, right? Until she became an adult. So you actually believe that Muhammad married this girl, took her home, slept with her, but no sex until she became an adult. I believe that Muhammad married her, put her as a part of his, his household, and waited until, the, uh, until she was an adult to consummate the marriage. Are you serious? You believe that? Why did he have to marry a child and then wait until she became an adult before he had sex with her? Yeah. And taking her to his home and everything. Yeah. So um, there's a couple of answers to that. One has to do with the culture of the day and protection for, for her as an individual. Right, so when it came through that he, that that God had given this woman to be His wife, He was simply obeying what that command was. But she wasn't a woman. That's correct. I'll say one more thing with that: the events of the Bible, right? Because in the Bible, there's many events where um, atrocious acts, as we view them, uh, were committed. Yeah. Were committed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so one of the examples that are given in the Bible is Abraham when some family members got him tipsy and he slept with somebody he wasn't supposed to sleep with, right? All right. Yeah. So if you believe that to be true, right? So it's in the Bible. So if you believe it to be true, it's not, that's, that particular type of thing is not acceptable. It's just under any circumstances. But one of the things that, that we have to hold is we have to hold that everything, no matter how we perceive it, happens in the mercy, or mercy is the vehicle of the delivery. So the Quran says that the Prophet Muhammad, to answer your question, was given the order to marry this girl, so he did, and it was prohibited for him to have any kind of relationship with her until she became a woman, so he waited until that happened. God's wisdom in that, I don't know. Amazing. I don't know. His mercy in that, I do not doubt. Are, pro, uh, uh, are Sufi, Sufism prophets allowed to do that today? So the uh, Sufis hold that uh, the station of prophethood um, ended with the prophet Muhammad. Oh. How is uh, Sufi different than the Muslims who require that their women dress covered up from head to toe? They're not allowed to drive. They are not allowed to, you know, go in the streets yeah. by themselves. First of all, that's, uh, that, that is not the real Islam, period. Oh, it's not? Everything you just described is not it. Oh, I see. No, of course not. Where, so is, is that an offshoot of Sufi? Of course. I mean, man has taken things, yeah. right, throughout the ages and ran them into extremes. Islam, say, I mean, the Quran says that Christians and Jews are infidels, worthy of death. Do you teach that in Sufi as well? No. Oh, okay, that's not the Quran, in the Quran. The Quran teaches that if we take the life of a single person, it's as if we've taken the life of the whole world.